In this video, I'll be talking about tangent planes and linear approximations to functions of two variables. But before I get into tangent planes, let me talk about one variable and tangent lines. So if I have a function of one variable that's differentiable and, say, some uh, x value a, the tangent line to this function at x equals a is given by this formula. I have y minus f of a equals f prime of a times x minus a. So this is the tangent line. And part of the reason why this is good is because this this function, just of x, which I can sort of rewrite it as a function this way, this is a good approximation to f near the point x equals a. I mean, th that's sort of the definition of being differentiable in one variable. So let me write that out. So the tangent line was this. And if I subtract this from the original function, so if I have f of x minus all of that, this expression here as x goes to a, well, everything goes to 0. But it actually goes to 0 really quickly, meaning it goes to 0 faster uh, than x goes to a. Because if I write down this expression and sort of simplify it, I'll get I'll get this inside minus f prime of a. And by the definition of the derivative, uh, this goes to 0 as x goes to a because, well, that's what this is. This is the difference quotient, and it goes to f prime of a as x goes to a. But the point here is that the difference between f and the tangent line is going to 0, but it goes to 0 so fast that even if we divide by something that's going to 0, this expression still tends to 0. And that's the one variable notion of differentiable, which, um, which we can extend to two and three variables with no problem. So if we have a function of two variables, and if it's sufficiently nice, um, we'll have a notion of a tangent plane. Well, the, uh, so the tangent plane at a point x, y equals a, b. So if f is nice enough, its tangent plane at this point will be written in the following way. I'll have z minus f of a, b equals the partial of f with respect to x at a, b times x minus a plus the partial of f with respect to y at a, b times y minus b. So this is the formula for the tangent plane, but not all functions have tangent planes. The point is that if the function is differentiable, so we say f is differentiable if this plane is a good approximation to f. near the point AB. And I'll tell you what I mean by good. It's just 
the same thing I, was, I wrote down before, except I have to write things in two variables now. So I'm going to say the difference between f and this formula for the tangent plane This expression, so I have uh, the original function, and then this is the formula for uh, the tangent plane, if f has one. Um, f has a tangent plane exactly when the difference between f and this plane divided by the distance between x, y, and a, b goes to zero as x, y tends to a, b. So that's the notion of uh, differentiable. So if this is true at, at the point a, b, f is differentiable at a, b, and uh, so we usually the functions we're dealing with, such as polynomials, this will automatically be true, and we'll talk later about when this has to be true. But now let me give a simple example of finding a tangent plane, and in class I'll show you pictures. So if our function is, is this, for example, uh, the tangent plane uh, will turn out to exist and at every point, but let's just find the tangent plane at the point 1, 1. So to do that, we have to find some partial derivatives. Um, so the partial of f with respect to x is going to be 2x plus 3y. And the partial of f with respect to y is going to be 3x minus 2y. So let me rewrite some of this stuff real fast. And now I'll use the formula for tangent plane to find the tangent plane of this at the point 1, 1. So it was z minus f of 1, 1. So that is 1 plus 3 minus 1. So it's 3. So this is f of 1, 1 equals partial of f with respect to x at 1, 1, which gives me 5 times x minus 1. Plus the partial of f with respect to y at 1, 1, which is 3 minus 2, so just 1. And there we go. This is, we can write the tangent plane this way. And again, I'll show you some pictures in class what this looks like.